Good morning, Netherlands. I'm Diego Lopez. And I'm Sam Churches. Welcome back to GNN. Any sophomore or junior who is interested in becoming a Peaks 360 leader next year should submit their application as soon as possible. Applications are due March 12th. That's next Wednesday, so don't delay. It's not too late to become a leader here in our school, so why not give Peaks 360 a try? Middle level students can also be join Peaks 360 next year. If you're currently in 7th grade and want the chance to be a leader in middle school, please see Ms. O'Kelly for your application. Middle level 360 applications are due next Friday, March 15th. Good luck! TCAP testing is currently in full swing, but you already knew that. Yep, the cramped writing hand and brain drain are clear signs that TCAPs are back. Unless you're an upperclassman, because TCAP is one of the best weeks in, of the year in my opinion, so good luck to all you test takers. Do your best and show what you can do. And what Netherland can do. TCAP testing will continue next week, but did you know there's even more to look forward to? Yes, next week is Spring Spirit Week. Spring Fever is here! Some call it cabin fever. Call it whatever you want to call it, but really it's just time to break from the winter doldrums we have and have a little fun while the snow turns to mud and the days grow warmer. And less windy. Spirit Week will provide everyone with a chance to act a little crazy and let out some of the pent-up energy stored throughout our long mountain winter. We'll have dress-up days and activities followed by a dance. Two dances, actually. There will be a middle level and high school dance this year. The middle level will get down first with a Friday afternoon affair. The dance will begin at 5.30 and finish around 7.30. Talk to all your friends and make plans to attend. The high school will follow with a dance on Saturday night. Both dances will be here at the school and will take place in the high school gym. And it'll be a lot more fun if you're there. It will also be more fun if everyone gets involved with the dress up days student council has planned for the next week. Here to tell us about the schedule for Spirit Week is a student council member and senior, Serena Paré. Hi guys, I hope you're ready to have some fun next week. Board ready. Ready Freddy. Monday will be Ugly Sweater Day. You know you have one. I have two. Tuesday will be Identical Twin Day. Find a partner, or several, and dress up the same. On Wednesday you can relax a little and wear your pajamas because it's PJ Day, whatever that means for you. Thursday will follow with Out of Fashion Day. So. Well, whether it's your clothes or your hairstyle, find a retro look that suits you. I guess that means just wear what you normally do, Diego. Whatever, dude. We'll finish up the week with Winter Hat Day, so give your favorite hat one more ride before the spring shows up. There will be flyers up in the halls in case you forget, and you can always check out our webpage or watch this newscast again on YouTube at your NEDX STEM channel. There's, there are still more annual spring events going down this week, like Frozen Dead Guy Day's weekend here in town. So, we recommend a trip out of town unless you love traffic jams and zombies. If you stick around, Netherland, then we hope to enjoy the coffin races, salmon tosses, and frozen turkey bowling. Our version of the Winter Olympics, I guess. It's also the weekend we conclude daylight savings time. Set your clocks ahead one hour Saturday night and lose yourself one hour of sleep. The third quarter is also coming to an end. The last day is next Friday, March 14th, so be sure you have all that work turned in so you can really enjoy the dances. The Top of the Nation Honor Band performed last month in Alamosa. Four Ned High musicians were part of it all. If you see Courtney, Grace, Zoe, or Maeve, congratulate them on a job well done. By now, all of you have heard of and participated in at least one activity class or assignment that reflects our changing and growing investments in STEM-based education. In fact, you're doing it right now, if you're watching this newscast. Technology, science, the environment, Field trips, glaciers, 3D printers, <laughs> filmmaking, and much, much more. It's all highlighted here, Diego. Not only in our classrooms and hallways, but right here in Wednesday's Daily Camera. Whoa, this is awesome! A Dunkin' Donuts and Ned? No, no, read this headline, Diego. Oh, grant fund STEM projects. You can read the story online or live it right here at our Netherlands schools. STEM has brought many new opportunities to our students. One you may have heard about is our new and revamped woodworking class. Woodworking has about 20 students and is taught by Mr. Savik Nano and local wood specialist Bill Allen. Let's follow reporter Ben Rubio as he investigates. So what's going on with woodworking? Well, come follow me. Well, we have some students finishing their legs. We have Bailey cutting the holes for the stool top. And then we have some students shaving their wood to create the legs.
So Kiernan, what's your favorite part of woodworking? Uh, crafting with wood. I'm building a bench right now. Cool. Hey Soren, what are you up to? I'm putting finish on wood. And how's woodworking class going so far? Pretty great. It's a lot of fun. Fun. Thanks Ben. That looks fun. Remember, classes like woodworking and film production as you set your schedule for next year. STEM will bring more classes like these as long as students like you sign up and make them great. Hey Diego, you know what time it is? Yep, it's time to see what our green team is up to and learn our new energy saving tip of the week. Hey green team, what do you got today? Thank you Sam and Diego. Hi Jamie, do you know how much BVSC spends on energy in one year? I have absolutely no idea. Six million dollars a year. Whoa! Our energy saving tip for this week is dual switching. What's dual switching? Leaving off one light switch in your room. That's our tip for the week. Turn, Turn off, off the, the juice. juice. Back to you, San Diego. Action. Thanks again, Greenies. It feels good to know Netherland is a leader in energy conservation. Don't forget to follow all those green team suggestions. We're almost out of time, but first we need to check in with our sports guys, Ian and Noah. What's shaking, fellas? Action. Thanks, guys. I'm Noah, and this is Ian. We're here to tell you all there is to know in the world of Netherlands sports and activities. Spring sports are off and running, literally. The boys and girls track teams are preparing for their first meet down in Boulder this weekend. Our Panther athletes will compete in the Boulder Invite, starting at 9 a.m. and running throughout the day. Come down to Wrecked Field and cheer, our t cheer on our team, especially in coffin races, aren't your thing? The girls soccer team is also practicing hard. You can catch the first home game next week Thursday as the Lady Panthers host Bruce Randolph School at 4 p.m. Home games will be played down below until the snow melts, but that shouldn't stop you from coming and cheerleading. And staying on topic of cheerleading, Miss Rock is looking for candidates to join the cheerleading squad. Any current 8th through 11th graders should talk to Miss Rock. In English or Spanish. About starting a team for next year, Noah. Tryouts will follow this spring if we get enough interest. Middle level students are playing soccer and volleyball right now, Ian, so be sure to root them on too. We'll be back next time with more footage and highlights from our awesome Panther athletes. Back to you guys. Thanks, Noah. Thanks, Ian. That's it for GNN for this week. Stay warm this weekend and watch out for those zombies. They're pedestrians too, you know. Bye bye. Bye bye. It's all, it's all good. good in the tall woods. <laughs> 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 I think